Fun day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's a holiday. The markets are closed. Uh, but Randy Martinson of Progressive Egg, we finished strong on Friday. We did. We actually had a pretty decent finish with the way Friday performed. And, you know, the market this week really didn't perform all that well. USA's report came out, and there was a little bit for everybody in it, but the market just didn't seem to take the news very well. We did slip off most of it, but here on Friday, we gained a little bit of ground back in wheat and a little bit in corn. Soybean still struggled, but not a bad finish overall. After a disastrous bearish report on Monday that was expected, and it was expected that we would uh, you know, go down, but what happened on Friday that turned things around? Well, I think there's a combination of things. One, you know, we've been hammered so hard that the market needed to see a little bit of a recovery, and I think that helped the wheat market. Corn, you know, we're still looking at some cold temperatures. I mean, I think there's still some concern about whether demand really is going to, you know, if it's going to continue to stay strong and if it's going to increase. You know, of course, that means good corn feed demand, and that should help continue to support that corn market, and that helped bounce it. And we also had some exports being uh, announced, not so much U.S., but world, and that takes some supply off, and that, of course, is always a good sign. Overall, though, we, beans struggled just because of some cancellations out of South America, and it, everybody's expecting that's going to continue to happen. And that kept beans a little bit on the defense, but overall, just some profit taking ahead of the weekend. There was some business done on Friday, obviously by some people, as you mentioned last Thursday, bottom pickers, uh, people who are, hey, everything's on sale. Uh, could this happen after the holiday is over on uh, tomorrow on Tuesday? You know, it, it could. I mean, especially you look at where the support lines are at and where these markets are trading at right now. We've had a pretty good sell-off. We're down, you know, most of the bean contracts are below 10 bucks. There could be a little bit of bottom picking or, you know, let, you know, it's on sale. Let's go buy some. And especially wheat has been hammered pretty hard. Uh, all of the markets actually have been hit pretty hard the, uh, after the first of the year. So we could see some of that happen, technical recovery. January is traditionally a pretty tough month, though, because of... And there's not much going on. I mean, exports are really the only thing we've got to watch in South America for, for the soybeans. So a rally would be, I think, somewhat muted, but it could happen. Even at these lower prices, is U.S. wheat still overpriced in relative to the rest of the world? Because of our U.S. dollar, it is. You know, and everybody else's currency has dropped so much. So right now, if you're shopping to buy wheat, you look at the U.S., which has a strong dollar, and you look at everybody else who's got a weak dollar, you know, you can buy... 10% more or 15% more in another country's product, uh, you're going to go shop someplace else. Also a fine Friday finish in fed and feeder cattle, but is the trend has been down. Are we going back down again? You know, it, we did have a really nice recovery. We started weaker. We finished with some good strength. Uh, you can see that the supplies are starting to increase from the feeder cattle side. Fat cattle market, we still continue to have a pretty good box beef prices and, and cash bids. I still think we got some downside, though. I mean, I think that feeder cattle market, especially the January, is going to try to touch that 200 level. You know, supplies are going to continue to increase, and that's going to be the issue short term in cattle. Long term, I think we still have some pretty good market coming, but short term, I think we could see issues. Randy Martinson, Progressive Ag in Fargo, thanks so much for being with us on a holiday. All right, thank you, Mick. Have a good day off. Yeah, well, thank you. You too. All right, we're taking a break, coming back with another check of the forecast and a preview of what's coming up next on The Valley Today.